Okay, this is my first attempt at making a video, so you'll have to bear with me. So, what I'm videoing is my Pioneer 500. I've put in the power steering from Easy Steer. And before I bought this, people were complaining about this bracket that the pump goes on. It moves up and down. There is a video on it. <clears throat> so when you turn the key on an engine running, and you turn, in my case, all the way to the left, this bracket does flex up and down big time. And... What happens is, let's see if I can move this light. It's going to be very hard. I don't have a, anybody here to help me. But if you look down here, this is your brake master cylinder. And it's really hard to see. But right here is the steering knuckle. And when you bottom it out, it flexes. And I think I don't think they can do anything about preventing this flex because there's four joints in it. So when you bottom it out, it flexes. So, and in my case, it was hitting the master cylinder only when you bottom out. And to me, that's going to do damage. And I'm saying that's not acceptable. So what I did... To resolve this issue, I uh, looked around and I just found some angle iron. And here's what I came up with. Just a piece of angle iron. This is going to be for the top. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the... Here's the... This little V-cut. Well, it's hard to hold this thing in point, so... This little V-cut is clearance for the steering shaft. I just took a hacksaw and just hack, you know, hacksawed it out. Just because I'm at home doing this and not at work where I have better tools. So I made up a bracket and just bolted it on. And then welded this up and painted it. That was my bolt on there to hold it in position when I welded it, and I just left it in there. So what this does is going to bolt up in here. Well, camera's going really bad here. Losing focus. And it's all black, so it's really, shit. So it's really hard to do this by yourself. Huh. So it's going to go up here and mount up here. So I'm going to pause this so I can actually mount this up and maybe I can give you a better picture when it's assembled. So hang tight here. Now let's see, let this thing focus in, it's not focusing too good, it's focusing in, not good at all, there it goes, okay here's the bracket, and it mounts to the top frame there and that other little piece goes underneath and then let's see if I can
here's the shaft. There's, doesn't really show up too good, but there's plenty of clearance in there. So that's what I did to prevent that bracket moving up and down. So Okay, I forgot to mention it's 18 degrees out So it's not that nice Let's see This thing will start It started Okay, back to this bracket. Where do I put this light? Turning the steering wheel. All the way. That's bottoming out. That that's bottoming out in the if I can hold this. If you look right down in here, you can see that little spot there. That's how much it's flexing now, which is flexing a little bit because I only supported the one side. I really should make a plate to support this side because when I turn the steering and bottom it out the other way, This is not moving and I've got the wheels turned all the way to the right and I don't know trying to do is get a picture of the steering linkage flex down here by the master cylinder and I don't think it's going to show up yeah it's not showing up but the bottom line is you'll have to look down there and that's where it's hitting people's on the second joint up. So anyways, I know it's not the best video out there, but I basically just wanted to give everybody an idea what I did to fix this major flexing problem. It doesn't hit anywhere full turn to full turn, so I'm gonna call it a win. It could be, that bracket could be modified a little bit better. It doesn't help when you're working with black paint. <laughs> that bracket could be made a little bit better to support both sides, but it was a prototype and it, and it works. So, okay, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you learned something.